ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا أرحم الراحمين We ask Allah Azza wa Jal teach us what benefit us benefit us from what he taught us and increase us in knowledge My dear, beloved, respected brothers and sisters I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to protect you wherever you are Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala when he created the Jannah He told her Takallami Qalat قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ سبحان الله When Allah created the Jannah, He told her, say, say something, speak. And the Jannah said, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Successful are the believers. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, while I'm fasting, I'm asking you for me and all the brothers and sisters that are watching me to make them from the successful believers. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Remember, the first characteristic of these successful believers was الَّذِينَ هُمْ في صلاتهم خاشعون the ones who have خشوع in their salah my brothers and sisters I started giving this course uh, around 11 years ago so this has been 11 years I've been giving the talk about خشوع in the salah and I still I'm still working and improving myself to achieve خشوع خشوع in the salah the first time I watched it and may Allah reward the Sheikh uh, it's a program in Arabic uh, by Sheikh Mashari Al Kharaz. And it was called كَيْفَ تَتَلَذَّبْ بِالصَّلَاةِ How to find uh, joy in the salat. And he is the one who inspired me. May Allah reward him uh, for all his efforts, inshaAllah ta'ala. So, tonight, inshaAllah ta'ala, like I promised you, we will have many keys in order to open the doors of khushur. And tonight, we will be taking the first key. Are you ready? Yalla. Bismillah. Presence of the heart presence of the heart as we all know the heart is the most important organ in our body it is the source of reception it is the 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 organ that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the quran on the day of judgment no wealth no property nothing will benefit me except if i come to allah azza wa jal with qalb salim with sound pure heart so i ha- i want to have the heart present in my salat in order to achieve khushu' presence of the heart now Having khushu' does not just mean that you are concentrating and you are not distracted. Having the presence of the heart is only the first level of khushu'. Some, many people, they say, oh, it's very hard to have the heart present. My brother, my sister, the salat, let's assume that the salat takes seven minutes. Seven minutes. Let's say eight minutes. Eight minutes for a nice, quiet, beautiful salat. Eight times five, 40 minutes. 40 minutes. You cannot concentrate for 14 minutes. You cannot just think of Allah Azza wa Jal and leave all the dunya distractions. 14 minutes, just 14 minutes and 23 hours and 20 minutes. Uh, think about as much dunya as you want in the halal way, of course. Just 14 minutes, leave this whole dunya and concentrate. I am in front of Allah Azza wa Jal. I am in front of the one who gave me everything that I have. Subhanallah. For 14 minutes, let's try to have our uh, heart present in that, in the salat. Now, think of having the presence of the heart before the salat so that your nafs does not tell you that it is too hard to concentrate. No, tell yourself, no, I am going to concentrate. I will concentrate. I will kick out every single thought that will come to my mind. Say that to yourself. Remember that the sweetness, the sweetness of being in front of Allah Azza wa Jal far supersedes the sweetness of any dunya distractions. I am in the presence of the one I love the most. Let the heart be present. Now, there is a greater depth and that is, or uh, 
One thing that will help me have my heart present is understanding what I am saying. Understanding what I'm saying. Now, uh, many of the brothers and sisters are watching me. They are, their, their mother tongue is not Arabic. As a matter of fact, most of Muslims on earth are not Arab. The majority of Muslims are not Arab. Huh? So you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not know that? Oh, Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal, He is the Alim. He knows that the majority of the Muslims will be not people who speak and understand Arabic. So understanding what I am saying will bring the heart to presence. Now, <clears throat> The, I'm going to present to you some, something that is going to be our major competition. This mic, this mic that the Imam recites every single day from the, the, the salawat in the masjid, this is our competition. How is this my competition? Now, if I do not understand what I say, let me see if there's any difference between me and this mic. Okay, I come five times a day to the masjid, right? This mic is 24 hours in the masjid. But you say, oh, Sheikh, I make sujood. This mic does not make sujood. Well, listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Hajj. أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَسْجُدُ لَهُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ وَالنُّجُومُ وَالْجِبَالُ وَالشَّجَرُ وَالدَّوَابُ وَكَثِيرٌ مِّنَ النَّاسِ وَكَثِيرٌ حَقَّ عَلَيْهِ الْعَذَابِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, don't you see that to Allah azza wa jal prostrates Whoever is in the heaven and in the earth, even the sun and the moon and the stars and the mountains and the trees and every moving creature and many of human beings, many of the people and many, the punishment to them has been justified. So this might always also make sujood. Uh, you might say, but uh, I, I, I say, Subhan Rabbi, I make tasbih. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Well, this mic also makes this bih. What's the evidence? وَإِن مِّن شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ وَلَكِن لَّا تَفْقَهُونَ تَسْبِيحَهُمْ Allah told us in Surah Al-Isra, everything, everything makes tasbih, glorifies Allah Azza wa Jal. But you do not understand the way they are making tasbih. So this mic is making tasbih also. So this mic is more uh, in the masjid than myself. This mic makes sujood. This mic makes tasbih. So you might say, but I read the Quran. The, 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 the mic does not read the Quran. Well, my my brother, my brothers and sisters, uh, you're not the only one who reads the Quran. If we read the Quran without understanding. I want you to watch this clip. Watch this clip and then we will discuss later. So now you heard this parrot reciting Surah Al-Fatiha. Do you think this parrot understands what he says? No, he does not. So we have to struggle and strive to understand what we are saying. This is one of the main tools, main keys to bring this heart to presence. What does Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik wa tabarak asmuk wa ta'ala jadduk wa la ilaha ghayruk mean? What does Subhan Rabbi al-Azim mean? What does Sami'a Allah liman hamida mean? What does At-Tahiyyatu lillah mean? What does Innaka Hamidun Majeed mean? We have to understand what we are saying in the Salat and insha'Allah ta'ala on the future episodes you will, we will explain every single word in the Salat. Every single word because remember 
what we discussed, we will insha'Allah ta'ala, with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be from the people who leave Ramadan insha'Allah with khushu' in our salat. My brothers and sisters, how long does it take to open the Qur'an and look at the tafsir or the meaning of the most common surahs that we recite? In this Ramadan, we are at home and we have a lot of time. Please, please dedicate a, a certain uh, uh, amount of time per day to understand. We recite Surah Al-Ikhlas all the time. Qul Allahu Ahad. Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaq. Surah Al-Falaq. Most of the people who are watching me right now, they know Surah Al-Falaq by heart, right? Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaq. Min Sharri Ma Khalaq, right? Let me ask you, what does Rasiqin Ida Waqad mean? Exactly. You do not know. How come? You've been reciting it for five years, 10 years, 20, some of us 40, 50 years, and I do not know what does Rasiqin Ida Waqab mean. I'm standing in front of Allah Azza wa Jal every single day, and I recite and I say things I have no clue what they mean, and I'm expecting to, to have khushu in my salat. My brothers and sisters, I will not dare to say something I do not understand to a human being, to my boss. How can I do that with, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Please, please, please. I know it. Inshallah, one day you will understand the whole Qur'an. But at least, just for the beginning, at least the surahs that we recite on a regular basis, those 10 last surahs, understand what they mean. It will change completely. When I'm begging Allah Azza wa Jal, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Ya Allah, you are the only one that is worthy of worship. When I say, قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ مَلِكِ النَّاسِ I understand what I'm saying. SubhanAllah, it will change everything. And the most important thing, is to understand the Fatiha, the most important surah in the Quran. And also we will be explaining that in full details. And my brothers and sisters, keep in mind this ayah, which is the ayah that you heard uh, before the beginning of the program. And you will hear it inshallah ta'ala every day, recited by our beloved Sheikh Sajjad. Go, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him and increase him and protect him. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Walladheena jahadu feena. لنهدينهم سبلنا والذين جاهدوا فينا لنهدينهم سبلنا الله سبحانه وتعالى said in Surah Al-Ankabut the last ayah and those who strive in my cause I will surely guide them to my way whoever strives if you are serious about improving your salat if you show Allah Azza wa Jal that you are serious about improving your salat Allah will never let you down. But we have to show Allah from the bottom of our heart. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Kareem. Please, Ya Allah, please, I want to taste the sweetness of the Salat. If Allah sees that sincerity in our heart and we, He sees that we are struggling and we are trying, we are watching every day and we are trying to implement everything, inshaAllah ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring us closer to Him. No one comes walking to Allah except Allah, like He said in the hadith, He will come running to Him. Allahu Akbar. So my brothers and sisters, one of the dua that we should be uh, making every single night at the time of iftar, inshallah, Ya Allah, make me from the people who have khushu' in their salat. It's about time to break your fast now, inshallah ta'ala. Remember, this is the most important dua of the day uh, at the time of, of iftar. Allahumma, uh, you could make any dua that you want, but I always remind you of this dua, Allahumma a'tiq riqabana min nar And you could make the dua that Rasulullah said, the best dua, ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار يا الله I ask you the best of your names to make everyone who's watching us tonight inshallah ta'ala from the people who have khushwa in their salat ya Allah forgive their sins accept their fast accept their salat ameen ya rabbil alameen wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in subhanak allahumma bihamdik nashad an la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk see you tomorrow inshallah in الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما إن الذين يؤذون الله ورسوله لعنهم الله في الدنيا والآخرة وأعد لهم عذابا مهينا 
والذين يؤذون المؤمنين والمؤمنات بغير ما اكتسبوا فقد احتملوا بهتانا وإثما مبينا